My flex hoses or rubber hoses? Everybody has their favorite. Whether you like the flexibility or you like the durability, it's a decision that you as a diver are going to have to make. Which one's my favorite? What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and if you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Make sure you click this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, I'm going to be swapping out some of my rubber hoses on one of my personal rec sets for a new set of MyFlex hoses. And if you can't already tell, I'm a huge fan of MyFlex hoses. The rubber hoses are great in colder environments. However, the MyFlex tend to work better all around. And what I'm actually swapping this out on is my side mount regs. And I need a little bit extra flexibility to, for routing purposes. And I just like the lightness of the MyFlex hoses a little bit better than I do the rubber hoses as well. So without further ado, let's get started in today's video. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to swap out a rubber hose for a MyFlex hose. Alright guys, so this procedure is really, really simple to do. This is something that you can do at home without the need to bring your regulator in uh, to a service technician to do it. This will save you a ton of money and a ton of time by learning how to do this yourself. And I'm going to show you really quickly uh, how simple it is, but also some of the tools that you need. Um, when I teach an equipment-based uh, techniques or an equipment specialty course or something like that, one of the things I do is I really focus on the tools that you actually need. And a good rule of thumb for anything to do with your regulator and hoses, I want you to remember the statement a half, nine, five, 14, 17. Now, what do I mean by half, nine, five, 14, 17? In short, that's a half inch, a uh, five eighths, a nine sixteenths, a 14 inch, and a 17 inch wrench. So that's basically everything I've got here. I also have a little adjustable wrench that I use, and I've been doing a lot of um, tank inspections here lately and I needed that wrench to get the valve off but a half nine five 14 17 those are your most common sizes for just about every manufacturer out there a half inch a nine sixteenths a five eighths a 14 millimeter for all Marias that's what we're going to be using today and a 17 millimeter as well for the second stage side so as long as you got the proper tools you're going to be good to go you also want to pick you up a little thing of silicone grease this is just from Trident here most dive shops are going to carry this so definitely pick you one of these up and we're going to use that to lubricate some of the o-rings uh, and with with that being said get you a hose whatever hose you're going to be swapping out this is a brand new xs scuba my flex extreme 84 inch or seven foot long hose this rig is for my side mount setup and i dive a long hose in side mount so that's why i got it so to get started i need to go ahead and isolate the hose that i'm going to be uh, swapping out and i'm going to be swapping out my long hose here which is a seven foot hose so i'm going to go ahead and prep it by taking off the second stage now i've already loosened all this to make the video a little bit shorter for you guys but on this particular reg set i need two 17 inch uh wrenches i can use an adjustable and a 17 or two adjustables i just like using two 17s i'm going to put one on the hose side and i'm going to put one on the hose adapter side once you have them broke free and it doesn't take much force remember everything in scuba is sealed with a no ring so these things don't really have to be cranked down tight but once you have it broke free all you got to do is just unscrew it so i'm going to take my second stage off just like that, this gives me a great time to inspect the threads, make sure everything's good. I can see the little green popping in there, make sure everything's good with it as well. And I'm just going to set it aside. Now I'm going to come over to the regulator side. On this particular one, this takes a 14. So I just take my 14, pop it on there, get it loosened up, and then of course I can turn it by hand. Now to turn it by hand, all I'm going to do, lay the hose down, and I'm actually going to turn the hose. Okay, real simple, turn the hose until I get it completely free. Okay, simple as that. So the hose is off. I can inspect a port, make sure everything's good there. Now I need to open up my new hose. All right, so I'm gonna pull out the new hose here. All 
I want to do a quick inspection of the hose, make sure there's no flaws in it. Now, one of the cool things about my flex is they're a little bit more flexible. So you'll notice a lot of times, if you look at your regulator now, there'll be hose protectors on each side of the hose from your reg set. Most my flexes doesn't have that because they're going to be more flexible around the fittings. You don't technically need those hose protectors. And to be honest, even on my rubber hoses, because of the way I store them, I just cut the hose protectors off. I don't even use them to begin with. But I still want to do a quick inspection, just to make sure it wasn't damaged in shipping or damaged from the factory. Everything looks really good on this one. The fittings look good. The O-rings look really good on it both the internal and external rings. Um, all that looks fine. So in short, it's ready to install. So I'm gonna take me a little bit of silicone grease here. And it doesn't take much, just a little dab there. And I'm just gonna rub it around the O-ring just to keep it nice and lubricated. Now, to be honest with you guys, this is a static O-ring. That simply means it does not move. It's not a dynamic O-ring. Whether or not it needs silicone grease, that's really gonna be left up to you. Typically, static O-rings don't. I just like to keep them nice and lubricated because I use my equipment just about every day. And so I want to make sure I keep everything nice and lubricated. The cool thing is silicone grease is dirt cheap, but it lasts a very, very long time. Primarily because you're not going to be using a ton of it. It just takes a little bit there to rub on and you're going to be good to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and start on the regulator side. And all I'm going to do is line it up with the port like so. Kind of get it in a little twisted motion. And then once I've got it in there, turn it until that first thread or two catches. Now, as you can see, it started. Then I can start twisting the hose to get it locked into position. Once I have it all the way till it stops, I'm gonna take my wrench and it doesn't take much force at all. I'm just gonna stick the wrench on it. You get just a little bit of tweaking right there. Just a little bit of torque, not much at all. And as simple as that, the hose is attached to the first stage. Now let's move on to the second stage. So I'm gonna take this in here. There is a little tiny O-ring here. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of silicone grease, not much, just a little dab. Once again, this too is a static O-ring, meaning it doesn't move. It doesn't technically need any silicone. I'm still gonna put a little bit just to be extra safe. Um, I do use my system quite a bit, so I want to make sure that O-ring doesn't dry out. I'm going to come over here to the second stage. I'm going to screw it on. Real simple, making sure you don't get anything cross-threaded. Now, to give this just a little bit extra love, a little bit of torque, I'm going to take my adjustable. I'm going to hold it on one side. I'm going to take another or a number 17, which is what Marius takes. And you want to think about which way do you need to turn it. Well, it's simply righty loosey, righty tight, or righty tighty, lefty loosey. So I'm going to stick it on, and I'm going to turn it just a little bit. And that's about all it takes right there. Now, the last thing, of course, is, is I need to add my bolt snap here, and I'm going to be good to go. All right, guys, so the last thing I need to do now that I've got the hose replaced is actually test the system, make sure there's no leaks or anything like that. I'm going to simply just turn on the air. I don't hear any leaks. And I actually replaced several hoses. On my personal side mount set, I already had my flex hoses for the gauges, but for my low pressure inflator hoses and for my second stage hoses, I did have rubber. So I replaced those as well. I just want to listen, make sure nothing's uh, leaking on it. I can also test the low pressure by simply plugging it up to something. We can actually use this air nozzle here to make sure it works. So I'm just going to simply plug it in. Works. And I don't hear any leaks, so I feel pretty confident it's going to work on my uh, BC as well. And then, of course, the last thing I want to test is the regulator. So I'm just going to take the regulator, purge it a couple times. Everything seems to be good. I can even breathe from it. Everything seems to be working fine. But guys, that's it. That's how easy it is to replace a hose, whether you're going from rubber to another rubber hose or rubber to a MyFlex hose. Maybe you're just simply changing the length of your hose. It's something that you can do at home without having to bring it in. Now, I would say this, if you're not comfortable doing this, take an equivalent techniques course, such as the SSI equipment techniques course, because this is something that your instructor may show you how to do. He may even show you what type of silicone to use, how much torque to put on the wrenches. That's something that he can show you during the equipment techniques course and I think it'll benefit you as well. But guys, if you liked today's video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, 
We appreciate your business.